Constantine and knew this morning it was a tragedy that hit a New Mexico community hard. The killing of 11 year old Ashlyn Mike. Now members of a well known MMA gym in the Duke City are on a mission to empower New Mexico kids by giving them the tools to defend themselves. News 13 Sarah Yingling has their story. Ashlyn Mike, have you guys heard about that? The little girl in flagship. So this is stuff that hopefully if she would have known Hopefully she could defend herself. It was just a little more than one month ago when little 11 year old Ashlyn Mike was abducted and murdered outside of Shiprock. The tragedy hit the entire Navajo Nation hard and as many continue to grieve the loss of Ashlyn, some are using this as an opportunity to teach children how to defend themselves. The whole point is to not just show up and teach something and expect them to remember but to to drill it into them so it's instinct and muscle memory to really know how to truly defend themselves and protect themselves against the dangers out there. Which is where trainers at Jackson's Mixed Martial Arts come in. Instructors who have trained alongside some well-known MMA fighters, including Jackson Wink alum Holly Holm, traveled to Santo Domingo Pueblo for the class. Grab across. There you go, good. And then, yeah, yeah, and then just pull away. We're out here three days a week. Uh, we're teaching self-defense two of the days, and then we're doing the actual MMA training out here. Isaac Valley Flag and the rest of the team at Jackson's are giving these kids a serious lesson in self-defense, or what the kids like to call stranger danger. If someone tries to take us, we could do the things that um, that they taught us about stranger danger, and so things so people won't do bad stuff to us. When there's a stranger trying to take you, it helps you defend yourself. The group does everything they can to prepare these kids, from learning how to be aware of dangerous situations to breaking free from a stranger's arms if they're ever grabbed. There's obviously some stuff uh, that kids are going to be, it's going to be hard for them to get away no matter what because of size differences, but, uh, you know, giving them, giving them information that will help them uh, escape a bad situation I think is absolutely necessary for any kid. The self-defense program is also being taught to adults and elderly on the Pueblo. It's included in their initiative to get everyone healthy. Adam. Oh, good program. Thanks, Sarah. Organizers are hoping to take that program, by the way, to every Pueblo in New Mexico. The Valley Flag says he's also interested in teaching similar classes at schools in Bernalillo and Sandoval counties.